All right, guys, so now that you've created your GetResponse account, the first thing you want to do when you get into your account, you want to click on My Account, Manage Account, and you want to check your details, your first name, last name, and your email address, which you created your account with. Then you want to click on Email Addresses, and you want to add your Gmail domain. So. If you already created your domain using GoDaddy or Namecheap or another platform, you can create your domain as an email domain using G Suite, all right? You can create your email domain using G Suite and then you can add an email address here, you can add it right here because this is the using Gmail is not recommended because it's it sometimes receives it as scam because I don't know policies or whatever but yeah so guys just use your domain and use G Suite to create an email domain all right so then you want to check all this and everything is good all right so yeah so pretty much just add your domain email address here all right so then we're gonna go ahead and click email marketing and we are going oh no, I'm going to create a list all right so if we're going to be promoting mm, let's say for example get response so we can put the list response get response create all right so we're gonna go ahead and click on settings so you can see your list set up your list settings you can put a title to your list and um, i don't ever put anything here but yeah so this will be your language spanish so i'll put english and then this this is my address so here you can decide if you can if you want to show your address in the footer message so I will click not and save general settings then we're going to go to subscription and here um, this will send you notifications as long as anyone subscribes to your list okay here you decide the the account that, that you'll be using and um, in this option you can decide if you want your subs your new subscribers to get a notification when they subscribe so before they get your first email they would get a notification from get response if they really want to be in your list so you can click here if you want them to receive the notifications and this is good because you know there are a lot of scammers out there there are a lot of fake emails so this is good I don't normally use it but it's good because you know when people use fake emails they're just spamming like your emails are not getting anywhere you know what I mean so this is good to double opt-in if they really want to be in your list all right uh, but yeah, it's, it's for you to decide. I don't, I don't really use this option, but but yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and save subscription settings. Here you can see the unsubscribe and concept details page, unsubscribe success page, newsletter directory. But yeah. All right. So all of this is good. Confirmation page. So this is the message that they will receive when they subscribe to your email list all right so if you decide them to get a notification when they subscribe this is the message that they would get so the subject line is the phrase the first phrase that they would receive in their inbox so you can actually personalize like their first name that they put in the opt-in that you created with click funnels all right so they then it will say Diego or 
Adam or in Sophie or whatever your confirmation is required okay from you're going to select your email domain okay don't use Gmail remember because they get spams with email all right so use your email domain so now we're going to save confirmation message and yeah so now we're going to get into uh, creating one email so guys I just realized that I've made a spelling mistake here get response save general settings all right so now that we're all set we're gonna click on create create newsletter and this is the message <coughs> that only you would see all right so we can put get response one one like the first message that will be sent and the subject line this is the message that will appear in their inbox all right so maybe you can say so guys in this part we're gonna be really creative because now we're gonna get into the storytelling part all right so we can write a subject line saying something like open only if you shall take open only if you're an action taker okay something like that you can also put an emoji like this or like this um, you can also pers personalize us birth date campaign city but mm, I don't know how this really works guys this is really really new like this is the first time that I've seen all of this because you know usually you can personalize by first name and that's it all right and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and add the get response list add and now we're going to design the message all right so these are all the design templates that you can use for your email but I'm going to select a blank template so you can see from scratch so use this template uh, yes all right and yeah so it's really easy guys it's just drag and drop so if one if we want to put a text here so we just drag the text drop there and here we can put maybe an image right here like this so it's really really easy guys so here now we're going to write um, we're gonna get into a bit of copywriting but it's not a professional copywriting you know because let me explain so writing an email doesn't have to be very professional professional copywriting and everything really really neat you the best emails that you can write is a story storytelling like literally just telling a story about you or giving away some tips some mm, some value uh, maybe uploading a video on YouTube and showing it like hey guys I, I created this video about you about mm, affiliate marketing or about e-commerce or whatever and just link them to that video telling them like something of value don't sell 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 because you know a lot of marketers out there are just trying to sell writing emails trying to sell 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 you know and a lot of those emails are very trashy and that's why a lot of people unsubscribe from those email lists because they're just selling selling trying to sell you know guys it's just treat your customers as as your friends treat your subscription to your subscribers I mean as your friend guys like you know them because they're people they're like you they have they have wishes they have desires they want to grow and that's why they're listening to you 
okay? So don't treat them as robots that they're just going to give you money. No, treat them as people. So the best emails that work is just a conversation, guys. Literally, just write a conversative email giving away something, like, you know? So let me show you. You can say something like, hey, Diego here just wanted to give you away some tip for your affiliate marketing business. All right, so you can maybe research even those tips from the internet or if you know some tips and uh, you can just put them right here so all right guys so this is just you see how much time i took to write this email i'm giving away five tips that are valuable that they would take advantage of them and it's very simple you see I took less than three minutes to write this email and I'm giving away something I'm not promoting anything I'm not selling anything I'm just giving away tips all right guys so this is actually very important because you know you should write five emails like this and one email promoting all right guys because either way you would be the same as the hundreds of and hundreds of marketers that are just promoting and promoting and they say they are saying in their emails hey buy this product hey buy this product hey come on have you checked this product it's amazing it's the best product that you ever would buy all right so guys this works better, believe me. This method works way better because you keep your list hot, the subscribers would like you. The subscribers, when they receive a, an email from you, they would be like, oh, I'm receiving some tips from, Dave, from Diego. And they would not say, oh, this guy is selling me something else again. And they would gladly unsubscribe, all right, guys? So write five emails like this, just giving away tips. You can also tell stories. Uh, this is just an email giving away tips, but yeah, there are many types of emails. You can also put an image. So if you want to put an image, browse files. I'm just going to drag and drop this file right here. Add. So yeah, this is the image and you can also put a link here, like click to the image, add link and I'm going to put the link to my Facebook group, right? Insert and it's all set. So so this is writing a story, a tips email, alright guys? You can write many types of emails but the ones that work better are the storytelling and the tips, all right? So write five emails giving away some value and one email promoting your product, all right, guys? So now that this is all set, we're going to click on next. So yeah, here you can check everything. And obviously you want to use your domain email. You don't want to use Gmail. All right, so this is wrong. And um, yeah, the subject line, open only if you're an action taker. Recipients, good design and content. Spam check, you're good to go. So you can also test the spam check. Send message here. And yeah, also if you have a Google Analytics account, you can track the links the link clicks using Google Analytics, so it's great. All right, so now if everything is good, 
we will go ahead and send the message so yeah guys so this is how you create a great email template either you can give away some tips remember or story tell, literally tell a story about your day and you know get your subscribers to know you that you're a good person that you give value that you know you're not another typical marketer all right guys so i hope that was clear for you and yeah so in the next video i'm going to show you how you can create some great automations with get response